did the Prime Minister know that there were allegations of sexual misconduct against Chris, fin uh, Chris Fincher when he appointed him as Deputy Chief Whip? To the best of my understanding, uh, the Prime Minister has not been aware of specific allegations against uh, Chris Pincher. Uh, as people will know, uh, Chris underwent an investigation back in 2017 uh, that, uh, after a formal allegation was made. He was investigated and Theresa May reappointed him, in fact promoted him to the role of Deputy Chief Whip at that time. Uh, but since then, uh, uh, Chris has continued to serve in government. And what's important, I think, about what's happened in the last week, that specific allegations were made and very proactive uh, decision was made to remove the whip, uh, as well as uh, Chris had already resigned from government. You say to the best of your knowledge, he didn't know about that. Who, who have you asked? Who have you spoken to? Well, my understanding is no specific allegations were, uh, 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 have been made. Uh, those have now been made. Uh, and uh, as I say, decisive action has been taken. But, but I'm just <clears> wondering where you, where you have got this information from. I mean, to the best of your knowledge, have you spoken to the Prime Minister? I have not spoken to the Prime Minister, no. He has been returned uh, from... Um, uh, International Week, uh, G7, NATO, Commonwealth, uh, I think he returned on Friday, but uh, uh, that's my understanding. So how can you be sure that he didn't know about the allegations? Well, I'm saying that I've been informed this, uh, this morning he did not know about specific allegations. Uh, as has been well reported, uh, people spoke to him on Friday and uh, in agreement with the chief whip, the whip was uh, removed from uh, Chris Pincher, who, by the way, is now under a formal investigation process and it's important that process is allowed to happen.